Ever wondered how to use microtones to spice up your jazz harmonies? Totally. I thought I was the only one thinking about that. Well then, let's dive right into it. The rabbit hole goes really deep on this one. Having a party with, let's say, 12 people can already be exhausting. I mean, there are so many different possible combinations between the guests. Yeah, um, 66 to be exact, and that does not even include triangles. But if you dare inviting 31 people, things get even more out of hand. Yes, right now there are 465 face-to-face -face conversations possible. But wait, has everybody arrived yet? Welcome to Mean Town Street. Huh. Lately, bigger parties with more guests have become increasingly popular. So I hope you don't mind me asking, who are you again? I am the Root Node, but most people just call me Root. Silly me, of course you are. Do you know some of the guests already? Yeah, I heard the Diatonic Gang is here. Yes, and some overtones are here as well. Nice. As long as the Flop 5 doesn't show up. As you can see, some people really get along. And others don't. So, how do we make sure that the dissonance in the room doesn't ruin the party? Is it even a good idea to invite so many guests with such uncertain relationships to each other? Don't worry, of course it's a good idea. We just need to know how to build bridges between them. Hmm. Isn't there the saying, my enemy's enemy is my friend? Kind of, but these rules will do as well. <clears throat> First, check if the notes attending the party have a common history together. This makes it more likely that they get along, or are at least used to the dissonance they're creating. Okay, basically you like the diatonic gang. Definitely, but the chromatic council has been through a lot as well. Gotcha. But don't make the same mistake as I did earlier on. Minor third, here's your drink. Excuse me? I am the sharp nine. Ouch, be careful with anharmonic equivalents. Definitely. Sharp and flat should not be confused at this sophisticated party. Mm -mm. Although that does not mean that only one of them gets along with the root. Okay, what else? Well, secondly, check out overtonal relations. Okay, there are a lot of overtonal connections possible today. And you couldn't imagine better friends for the root note than major third. And a pure fifth. <laughs> they even go to the bathroom together. And lastly, keep in mind that some notes are really good team workers. Let's find out. Can the root note really get along with every individual attending this party? These connections sound very familiar. Sometimes they flourish together in a group, but listen how a party including 31 notes slightly changes their relationships. Previously anharmonically equivalent notes are not the same anymore. But although they differ in looks and sound, their connections are still very common.
overtones are very useful to stabilize relationships, especially low limit ones. Some of them you already met, but the following will also become very important allies on our quest. Undertones are already pretty weird, but let yourself be the judge. It's time to look out for common friends or the best buddies of the opposing notes. They won't be able to make a dissonance disappear, but they can calm things down a bit. Wow, what a ride. Yeah, but at least no one can say anymore that parties with more than 12 guests are doomed. Totally. And after a while they'll probably get used to each other anyway, right? Shall we look how they're doing? Sure. Look at them. They almost look like a family. Aw, all combined in harmony. Or maybe more cluster-like. Well, we'll get there soon. In the meantime, check out our channel and, and stay tuned.